got lots to do this week, that's for sure, as we move forward. Um, we're going to do some seam sealer work on the truck, and we're going to do a lot more filler and sanding. And hopefully get it ready for another coat of epoxy. So I sanded the whole back of the cab here, and then I gave it another skim. And I've started working on getting this corner of the cab straightened out now that I've got the other side pretty good. But what we're going to do right now is... I climbed up here on the ladder and I uh, sanded the roof down for the first time. I blocked it. So you can see there's a lot of little stuff that's going to have to get filled. Not a big deal. But what we're going to work on right now is, you see I got it masked. And I've done the same thing around here on the firewall. And we're going to go ahead and apply the seam sealer to the firewall and the roof of the truck. And then once we get the jams and everything all sanded on both sides and any filler work that needs to be done on, on this side of this cab, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do all inside the door jams. Because down here, there's supposed to be a seam sealer here. And there's supposed to be a seam sealer that runs down along the sides of the cab where the outer skin comes into the pillar. And there's supposed to be seam sealer that runs down this seam here. That's what actually fills that in. So there's a lot of other stuff we still have to do. So what we have here is the SEM stuff, the 29362. Um, it's really good stuff. It's, it's DTM and you can paint it. Uh, but it doesn't shrink or crack, that's the big thing. And then I've got a couple of the Napa ones. The Napa ones we'll use anywhere inside the cab, under the cab, things like that where you won't see it. Just because it's not as good a quality as, as the SEM stuff. So, you know, it's a way of us saving some money somewhere where it doesn't matter. So you notice I'm wearing gloves? That's for a reason. We're going to go back and use our finger to kind of, well, pretty much smear it in where we want it.
Yeah, I know what you're saying. Wow, that looks terrible. But uh, if you ever seen factory seam sealer, <laughs> uh, it looks worse. Because at least what I've done is I come back with a little bit of solvent on my finger with the glove and I kind of soften the edges up a little bit. So they're not as in your face. But that's a firewall seam sealed. And then around the back here, I've gone ahead and done one light skim of seam sealer inside this seam across the back of the cab. And after I epoxy the cab again, I'll come back and do it again before the sealer goes on the cab. That way it has time to kind of settle in here. 